Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I want to invite you to subscribe, thumbs up, like, all that good stuff. I'm going to install these uh, custom dynamic filler lights on my bike and uh, I'm going to take you along for the journey. The first thing that we've got to do and I've already done is take the, take the saddlebags off. Saddlebags are off, they're out of the way. The second thing is to remove the seat. So I've got a Phillips head screwdriver. Is your shop like, like ours in that for every Phillips head screwdriver you got, you got 10 or 15 flats? What's up with that? We're gonna take the seat off. Oh, gotta get my back rest out. Gotta have the back rest. All right. I'll tell you something else I'm gonna do while I got this seat off is I'm gonna do some cleaning up under here, but not, not right now. Take this over here and put it somewhere out of the way. I'm using the uh, alcohol wipes that are included. I guess that's what they call them. That's what I would call them. The alcohol wipes that are included with the uh, filler panels to clean the surface where the 3M is going to stick. So it's got a nice clean surface. Get that ready. You remember, was it last week that I did a video when I was trying to make the decision on which company, which make of filler panels I would use, there was an Arctic blast. So I've cleaned, I've cleaned the surface with the uh, alcohol wipe that was provided in the kit. I'm just seeing a little dust down here that I'd like to get while I can get to it. And, and basically I'm gonna pull off the 3M stuff and then I'm going to, and it don't hurt to do a dry run on this thing first just to make sure. Oh, it's just tight, it's tight. I guess that's a good thing. So, here we go. This is the nerve wracking part. We're gonna pull off the backing of the 3M sticky stuff. And you know this, if you've used 3M stuff, you better make sure you got it where you want it. Because if you have to take it off after the fact, you're in for a job. There we go. All right, so I got all the, the backing off. And I'm gonna make sure to put the wire through the hole first, right there. And then I'm gonna set the bottom in place. And then I'm going to snap it in. There we go. Side one is in. All right, so I put the jack under the bike so I could level it up. And I've already cleaned this off with the uh, alcohol. It's pretty clean otherwise, too. I cleaned the bike this morning. And so same thing. Line at the bottom and then just boy it's really tight. Push it. It ain't going anywhere. It, it it's not going anywhere even without the uh without the 3M stuff. It's in there. Run these wires up through here into here where they're gonna hook to the uh wiring harness I'll be right back I gotta tell you that uh, I'm finished I'm finished uh, other than putting the seat back on and the uh, saddlebags back on but I wanted to show you what I did it's really hard the lighting in this shop is really hard for me to video these kind of projects and I started off with the bike out in the sun I don't think that turned out 
well, but uh, anyway, let me just turn the camera around. So what I did was uh, the wire coming out of the back of the light. I ran it along here and I used the zip ties that were included and used these holes that Harley included. And uh, there's a third one right there. I haven't quite decided what the best route for this, this wire is from this point to, to the harness. But for now, I probably should have went under that. That's what I should, I should have went under that, I think. Would have helped some. But for now, it's, uh, it's hooked up on both sides. And then I came in here and I, I unhooked the wiring harness that goes to the rear of the bike. And then I just inserted uh, the wiring harness for the filler lights. It's real easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And then the, uh, the wire from each light, this one is purple. So this is the left light. So it goes back to there. But it's done. I'm gonna reroute. I'm gonna reroute a couple of wires a little bit. And see if I can clean up and then trim off my, uh, cut off the uh, zip ties, make it a little bit neater, put everything back on. And then so I'll show what you. I did is I when I got to the wire to this part right here. Let me see if I can. This is the. Find it. This is the last loop in the frame. So then I went up and then I decided, I had a lot of wire, so I decided to go up here through my backrest bracket, bring it back down and then plug it to the harness. And that took care of a lot of uh, stuff. And then I'm just going to uh, kind of tuck all this away for now. Next time I add something else, I'll have to do a little bit more, a little bit better job. But I think that's it. I'm digging this. That's just all the lights, running lights on. Left turn signal. Hazards. And it's not even dark in here, but look how good that looks. But I'm done. It's finished. And I hope... Uh, I hope you watched all the way to the end. So right here at the end, uh, there's going to be some things pop up on the screen. Down in the right-hand corner, it's gonna be a circle, a picture of me on a motorcycle. That is a subscribe button, it's live. Just click on it, you'll be able to subscribe to this channel. Up in the right hand, up in the left-hand corner is a uh, playlist of motorcycle accessories that I've been dealing with since buying this 2020 Ultra Limit. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.